Hey beautiful souls, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a pair card reading on their current thoughts, feelings and intentions towards you. So I also want to add I'm open for personal readings and chakra cleansings. If you wish to book a reading or a cleansing with me, message my email which is in the description box down below. Alright, and also I've linked the timestamps of your pile down in the description or in the comments section so don't forget to check that out to fast forward to your reading okay so i picked out three piles for you today for the first pile we have the rose quartz crystal okay for the second pile we have the white stone For the third pile, we have the peach stone, okay? So, to whichever pile or crystal you feel drawn to the most, now I'll see in the readings, right? Hey guys, those of you who chose pile one, the rose quartz crystal, this is your reading, okay? So, let's see. What are their feelings? thoughts and intentions towards you as of now let's find out so we have a star as your overall energy so <clears throat> what i'm getting away is that this person feels really hopeful for the future we also have the wheel okay at the bottom of the deck it's like maybe you know they just see you as like the one basically is what i'm seeing they put you on a pedestal clearly they think about you a lot, you're like a major part of their life, you occupy like a huge part of their mind, okay, is what I'm seeing. And it's like you're their light in the darkness. Basically, they feel like you're, luck you're their lucky charm or something, you're their lucky charm, okay, is what they think. They're really optimistic about the situation. They're really hopeful for the future. Maybe they are making plans for the future. They are intending to do something really like, maybe taking this connection to the next level, basically. Okay. But they feel like you heal them. It's like you have this healing energy to your aura. Maybe some of you guys are light workers, energy workers, or you know, just, really have a strong intuition in general okay maybe some of you guys are psychic star readers or you just you know have this you know curiosity and getting to know more about spirituality okay that could be the case for some of you guys but yeah if that's not the case then you know you have a really strong intuition so you know what this person is thinking about it's like they see you and themselves is what i'm getting it's like they're deeply in love with you, okay? Definitely a lot of love is over here. They're really fond of you. They feel comfortable with you. And it's like they can pour out their heart in front of you, okay? Like seriously, they could just pour out their worries and their deepest feelings. It's like they can be vulnerable with you. And that's like a big thing, okay? This person intends to do that soon. If they haven't like done that already, okay? Because they want to grow more and more close to you. They don't, they don't want, want you to just, you know, walk away or just, you know, get away from them at all. They want to keep you all to themselves. So, if this person was hiding something from you, this person is going to come clean with their actions, okay, because they don't want to lose you. Again, okay, they have these really intense feelings for you. They want to get to know you better. They want to just, you know, build this beautiful, like, connection with you. They have beautiful feelings towards you no doubt so let's see what else are they feeling and thinking about you we have the king of cups as well no no wait yeah as like the energy okay i don't know why i said overall energy maybe it is so definitely this person has a lot of love for you with the king of cups over here the ten of wands so, the eight of cups the Ten of Pentacles, okay, I wasn't expecting this, but yeah, maybe this is like a long distance connection for some of you guys, okay, if this isn't like long distance, definitely like there's like an emotional gap between you guys and this person wants to seal that gap, like they want to 
just you know close that gap okay they want you guys to just you know talk it out and just make up with each other okay because they finally realize what they feel it's like it's burdening them it's, it's overwhelming for them these feelings that they have for you but they're trying their best to like take it like in the right way okay with the Ten of Pentacles, they see a family within the future, marriage with you, no doubt. I was literally getting that feeling when I saw the star, but I didn't mention I just wanted some more, like, confirmation, okay? So definitely this is, like, this is a huge confirmation that your person is definitely committed to you. They're loyal towards you. That's beautiful. And with the Eight of Cups, okay, maybe some of you guys moved on from this person. Maybe this person wasn't being loyal to you. Maybe they were giving you mixed signals and you were like, you know, just give me like a straight answer and all of that. But you couldn't take it. You couldn't take their, like, you know, jokes. Okay, I mean, obviously this is not a joke. Okay, like, seriously, so giving mixed signals is, signals is like, you know, really irritating and really annoying. Okay, so... This person definitely wants to apologize for that and they want to make up for for the lost time and for, you know, doing something inappropriate. They don't want to, like, have a bad image in your eyes of themselves, okay? So, it's like they're really fascinated by your energy, okay? It's like they can't, like, they just love looking at you. Like, they may, they, they are, like, you know, observing you, observing every action that you take okay they, because you, they are because they idolize you basically that's the point they idolize you they see you as like someone who's just like out of their reach out of their league this person is very loyal to you they're really committed maybe in the past they were not this person was like a farewell flavor maybe for some of you guys but this person finally realizes the power of you know love or something you know just you know the intensity of being like committed i don't know like for some of you guys this person definitely realizes their feelings in general and this person doesn't want to let you go so it's like you guys went through some like sort of like transformation or some sort of like change maybe you changed your location maybe you moved away okay from this person physically and this person finally realizes the gap that they have in their life this huge big empty space okay that's the case for some of you guys or it could also be that you just you know moved away from this person you withdrew your energy because you didn't want to waste any more time this person finally came into like realization that they need you they want you and they need you yeah that's how they're feeling and with the ten of wands over here definitely you guys went through a lot okay maybe this was like a one-sided connection in the past okay maybe you gave too much and this person was like acting all like up in their head they didn't like care about anything they were acting really carelessly they didn't consider your feelings and that's why you were like no i'm not gonna do this anymore and you just walked away for some of you guys okay but for many of you guys some of you guys you know really like this was like a one-sided connection is what i'm seeing this could also be that you know you have feelings for this person this person rejected you okay this could also be that when you like you know reached out and this person was giving mixed signals which is why you didn't know what to do and you were like you know i'm, I'm out you know, you were really confused, you were really overwhelmed and overburdened by this connection. You just walked away for good, okay? And this person definitely wants to get back with you, okay? Or it's just that they want to be with you in general, okay? Seriously, like, this person needs you. This person has a lot of love for you with the star, the king of cups, the four of wands. Oh my god, we have the four of wands over here. That's not a joke, okay? We have the ten of pentacles and we have the four of wands. That's like huge that's a huge deal okay so they definitely see marriage with you they see you as the one they see you as their wife your hubby okay that's it and whatever you are doing okay basically you are, you are more focused on yourself and be focused more on yourself okay this person is going to chase you down is what i'm seeing so whatever happened in the past is in the past now 
and they finally understand the, the hardships that you went through okay how much you actually suffered because of them if you guys have a past if this is a new person this person definitely understands what they're going through and they want to help you they want to reach out and communicate with you they want you to feel like you have someone to talk to okay and they just want to grow close to you they want to get to know you on a deeper level is what i'm saying okay we also have creative wonderment okay so follow your passion definitely you guys you know stood up for yourselves and now you guys are ruling your life you took control of your life which is amazing that's like you know, you guys are just really brave and charismatic people. So proud of you guys. Okay, you guys definitely went through some transformation. And you are undergoing some sort of like changes in your life, which are really like making you step out of your comfort zone, which is amazing. Okay, keep it up. Just follow your passion. This person will follow you. Okay, basically, because you're their passion. You're their dream come true is what I'm seeing with all of these cars over here. The spread over here is just like really beautiful. Okay. So definitely that's a lot of hope if you guys definitely messed up in the past with this person this person is coming back for sure if this is a new person that you're asking about this person wants to like help you out this person wants to be there for you because they're super interested in you okay super attracted to you they can't get their eyes off of you there's something about your eyes okay like see see they love your eyes is what i'm seeing okay so yeah well i guess this is all that i have for you guys today i hope it resonated if it didn't resonate you're free to check out the powers in the sweeting or check out my videos on my channel so that you guys will see you guys soon like share and subscribe for more videos bye bye hey guys there's a few who chose pile two the white stone this is the reading okay so let's see what are their current thoughts feelings and intentions towards you let's find out so we have the moon okay as your overall energy today so what i'm getting over here with the moon is that this person is definitely dreaming about you this person is having dreams about you okay this person is heavily attracted to you is what i'm seeing okay it's like their intuition is guiding them towards you they are feeling that magnetic pull towards you and it's undeniable it's literally irrefutable okay for them so it's like they have a lot of attraction towards you. They're really curious about you. They want to get to know you better. I mean, you are a mysterious figure for them. Okay, it's like you're really secretive. And this person wants to know more about you. Like, that's their main goal. Okay, that's the main, main goal to communicate with you, to get to know you better and, you know, take the necessary actions to, like, seal the connection. This person is definitely interested in you. They are definitely attracted to you. And they actually think a lot about your, like, intuition. Okay, maybe, you know, maybe some of you guys are light workers. Okay, you know, I don't know why I'm getting so many readings nowadays where, you know, I keep getting energies where some of you guys are light workers. Okay, many of you guys, you know, who are watching my channel might be you know really physically sorry spiritually connected to the divine so amazing i'm really happy to have such a crowd over here regardless <laughs> okay so yeah thank you for watching and basically this person is definitely feeling really nostalgic about you okay maybe you guys you know spend the day together or, you know went out with this person or just you know sweet memories are rushing through their heads right now they think a lot about you they think about you they daydream about you like a lot okay and they definitely get dreams about you okay it's like they think about you before going to sleep and you're the first thing that they think about when they wake up that's the sort of energy that i'm getting so maybe some of you guys are life workers you know tarry as a psychic so you know just really really like wise basically yes wise is the word that i'm finding yeah that's the word that i'm looking for maybe some of you guys have like this really you know you guys are really intelligent really smart and this person adores that ability about you and they definitely boast about it too to other people like my person is like you know really like smart and really attentive really aware about what's happening and all of that so they definitely like boast about you i mean seriously Okay, this is literally unrelated to the topic, but I had to mention it because I was getting that energy. 
in general this person definitely wants like wants to know you better okay they are so like in their head about you oh my god like in the 5d <laughs> this person might be a light worker your person okay they might be really like they might have a really strong conscious and or you know it's just that they're really connected to the divine and unknowingly they are manifesting you okay that could be the case for some of you guys okay so let's see let's see what else is your person thinking and feeling and what are they intending to do soon oh my god okay let's see what came out this person wants to hang out with you maybe they're they're gonna ask you out for some of you guys okay they might ask you out they're intending to do that real bad so damn let's see The King of Cups, yet again. Okay, some of you guys came here. From power one, all right. The Two of Swords. Temperance and Three of Swords, okay. This is giving me a whole different vibe, but yeah, I'm gonna get along with it. So yeah, we also have the King of Wands at, at the bottom of the deck. Okay, definitely there is a third party situation involved with the Three of Swords and the Two of Swords, okay? The Three and the Two of Swords, this is literally giving me vibes that this person definitely broke your heart in the past or they did something to you, like they disappointed you, they let you down, they betrayed you, ditched you or you know just like ghosted you or did something to you. That brought you a lot of disappointment and you know anxiety depression frustration take it how it goes and let me tell you that this person wants balance with you like this side of the table is completely different from this side so it's giving me really weird vibes so this person definitely wants balance with you with the temperance card over here it's like they want to moderate your connection they want to neutralize your connection because there's a grudge they feel like you hold a grudge against them and they are really like sad about it they don't want things to end this way like definitely there's a lot of unfinished like there's a really big unfinished business over here and they want to clear that out they don't want to like you know they don't want you to resent them is what i'm getting and with the two of swords maybe they were indecisive maybe there was another person involved for some of you guys okay maybe they were in a relationship and they didn't tell you or it's just that they were there were some distractions some external factors that were trying to disrupt your connection jeopardize your connection okay maybe they're friends or family it's, it's gonna be different for everyone it's just that this person was confused themselves as to what to do with this connection because they knew that you are someone who is like marriage material like you're a person who prefers a long-term committed connection or relationship and they know that which is why they can't like you know they were not ready for this maybe they rejected you or, or i don't know like they did something to hurt you okay basically with the king of wands they're definitely really determined to get this really like connection back on track okay they don't want to like lose you lose a gem like you they definitely see you as a gem they want to celebrate with you they want to have joyous times with you they don't want to like spend their like their free time thinking about it's like they just don't want to think about you know the negative side of the connection they want to think about the positive side of the connection okay it's like this person is going to a lot like this person is going through a lot right now it's like they're going through a crisis i don't know like they are trying they're literally like victimizing themselves for some of you guys okay like seriously there's a lot going on in their head and i'm getting so many energies okay this person definitely betrayed you in the past for some of you guys that they were not honest with their feelings they lied to you okay and if you don't want to be with this person i totally get it you should move on okay if you want to move on maybe there's someone else who is going to treat you right who's gonna like make you feel on top of the world <laughs> okay who's gonna like show you like who's gonna treat you 
in a better way than this person and they know that they actually have some insecurities your person has some insecurities which is why it's like there was a huge barrier like maybe you know third party situation doesn't have to be a specific person it could also be like oh wait this could also be that maybe you know this person is definitely thinking heavily that you know you moved on with someone else or you already have another person involved in your life so they're really curious like this is a no contact situation over here from many of you guys okay if this is not a no contact situation there's a really low communication level going on and they want to communicate more they want to find out more about what's going on because the silence is killing them okay it's like they want to like grow more closer to you and fi figure out how to get you back in their lives and this time they're gonna make you a permanent fixture in their life okay so <laughs> i mean seriously this person just can't see you with anyone else they're just gonna take a leap of faith is what i'm seeing they're gonna take a leap of faith and take this connection forward if you don't want to do this if you want to move on for good then definitely be my guest move on okay because this person um might be a little like you know a little manipulative a little toxic a little narcissistic so you know look out for yourselves follow your heart and stay blessed okay so we have dove okay take a leap of faith oh my god i literally don't see these cards and i literally just said take a leap of faith right like this person is gonna take a leap of faith okay this person is gonna like take the risk to reach out so definitely this person is gonna message you soon it's gonna be different for everyone just keep that in mind okay and if you want to be in this connection be patient with this person because this person is still really like healing themselves okay maybe this could also mean that just they just got out of a relationship and they're still healing okay so they are definitely single at the moment they don't have anyone by their side but they want you by their side is what i'm seeing okay so definitely gonna, they're gonna just you know take a leap of faith and take like this matter into their hands they're not gonna wait anymore they can't wait okay with the king of wants this is all about action they're gonna take a leap of faith and just you know communicate to you communicate about their feelings about how they want to like how they recognize this connection how they acknowledge you okay and how much they love you okay so if you don't want to be with this person don't and you can move on anytime okay so yeah well i guess this is all that i have for you guys today i hope it resonated if it didn't resonate you feel to have the past nice reading or check out more videos on my channel so that we guys will see you guys soon and like share and subscribe for more videos bye bye hey guys there's a few who chose pile three this is your reading okay the peach stone so let's see what are your person's current thoughts feelings and intentions towards you let's find out so we have the two of pentacles as your overall energy today so you know i'm gonna like get some more cards first okay then i'm gonna get with the reading so let's see who are the current thoughts feelings and intentions towards you pile three we have the three of cups we have the four of cups we have the hermit yeah the six of cups so okay i'm gonna like clarify the two of pentacles Okay, the Two of Pentacles, we have the Ten of Wands, Seven of Cups, Bomb the Deck Energy, the Paranormal, okay, this is a different card, basically, just belongs to this deck, so this is like one of the rarest cards that come out in a reading, basically, so, this is literally just giving me a clear message over here that there's a third party situation involved okay maybe you moved on from this person this person rejected you this person didn't serve you right and i'm seeing that this person might come back definitely you are you have met another person or you are going to meet another person in your life who is going to treat you right okay who's going to make you feel worthy maybe this person may you don't need anyone to make you feel worthy you are worthy enough okay like seriously you are perfect and beautiful the way you are but there's going to be a person who's, who's going to make you realize that you know like who's going to make you realize that basically okay 
like you already know that but this person is going to make you realize it even more okay the new person that's coming in so definitely this person hurt you this person definitely made you cry and the person that you're asking about or you know if you're asking about a new person i'm talking about the person in the past i know this was literally like really weird that i'm referring to that person but yeah basically the three of cups is mostly about celebrations and happiness and getting together reconciliation but what i'm getting over here overall is that i'm getting so many energies in this pile i mean this always happens with pile three like seriously like many of you guys are watching pile three maybe <coughs> sorry guys so this person definitely misses you a lot okay the the person in the past okay misses you a lot they want to reconcile with you maybe they didn't treat you right they took you for granted they they had someone else involved with them maybe they were in another relationship and they were lying to you that they weren't that they were single okay they didn't like they weren't involved with anyone but they were and when you actually proposed when you like you know confess some of you guys confessed to your person or you just you know gave them minor hints and this person wasn't like receptive to any of them so when you tried to move on this person like kept pulling you back into their lives because they want you to themselves like they, they didn't want you to be with anyone else but they wanted a, the freedom to be with anyone okay by having you on their side like you know what i mean like right that's like really selfish if you ask me okay that's really selfish and right now this person is definitely like definitely really guilty about what they did and they want you back okay is what i'm seeing and, sh and you shouldn't take them back because there's another person entering your lives who's gonna make you who's gonna love you a lot okay who's gonna treat you right who's gonna protect you who's gonna always be there for you whenever you need them who's gonna be loyal that could also be like someone who you would you know end up with you know like marriage have a family with so this person is all up in their heads right now okay the person that you're asking about many of you guys are asking about a person who who is like who's way in the past okay there's a no contact situation between you guys i'm definitely getting that so this person is just really bored in general okay they are really bored without you okay they're currently single they don't have anyone by their side they're soul searching they're doing some really deep thinking about this connection okay and they're looking into the situation they're keeping a really close eye on you and they want reconciliation with you maybe they are not like they're not available at all okay maybe they weren't available at all in the past okay i'm just getting so many situations out of like this pile like seriously so with the seven of cups this person still thinks that you are in their energy you are you know available for them when you're not basically this person is taking you for granted is what i'm seeing that's why a new person is coming in for some of you guys if you still want to be with this person you could okay but this person is a little toxic and a little like manipulative so keep an eye out for that if you guys many of you guys moved on from this person is what i'm seeing okay this person is just really curious they're watching us like they're watching your social media they're stalking your social media they're so like interested in you they're keeping an eye on you like a hawk okay like seriously like a hawk so they want to know what's going on they want to know what you're up to okay they they just like they're really possessive of you is what i'm seeing so that's like a little toxic if you ask me but if you want to be with this person be with this person but a new person is definitely coming in who is gonna like treat you right okay this person is daydreaming daydreaming about you okay the person from the past is daydreaming about you really like it's like they have a lot of like guilt building up inside them and they just don't know what to do about it they want to apologize but they know they don't know how to spike up a conversation okay because what they did was like utterly disappointing and it was like so i, I mean I, I don't know how to explain this it, it was like like shitty as hell <laughs> yeah so they just don't know how to approach you basically they want to reconcile with you like hell they are definitely thinking about you know meeting up with you setting out a date with you 
but you know it's up to you if you want to be with this person or not because i'm definitely seeing another person entering your life okay someone whom you've been dreaming about someone who you are manifesting actually you have manifested the new person to enter your life so definitely that person is coming in who's going to help you with your you know work maybe it could be a colleague or you know a new friend or something okay someone you might meet online or Maybe you've already met this person, you're friends with this person, and you're having a great time with them. Okay, this might resonate only for some of you guys, because, you know, I'm just going to clarify the three of cups of you. You are one. Okay, so this definitely makes sense. I was actually talking about the new person who, well, we have the nine of wands. So, this person, the person from the past realizes that you are the one for them. That's why they want to reconcile, they want to celebrate with you. Maybe they have gone through some, you know, deep thinking and they have finally realized that, you know, being with you makes them feel alive, okay? Okay, so this person is really, like, selfish, okay? Like, they don't even consider your feelings, man. Like, seriously, definitely move on from this person if this person doesn't treat you right, Okay? We have the Eight of Swords, the Five of Cups. They regret their actions, okay? They, re they regret their actions and they know that they can't do anything. It's like they're sitting in a corner and just, you know, crying, basically. They're crying over you. <laughs> we have the Four of Pentacles. They were really, like, they were trying to, like... They were trying to play you. They were trying to use you, but they couldn't. Okay, now they build up a whole prison for them okay and now that they realize what a gem you are what you know that you are the one they can't do anything okay they're getting their karma for you know doing something to you definitely okay and they feel extremely like depressed okay and they deserve it i know this might be a little offensive but yeah they deserve this okay they deserve this because what they did to you was like shitty as hell, like I just said. So definitely like this person feels stuck. This person can move on from you, okay? It's like this person is just stuck in their feelings. They feel like they did something wrong and they don't even know how to like apologize to you. They can't even apologize. They feel too ashamed to even talk to you, to see your face, to like, you know, lock eyes with you. They feel too ashamed for that, okay? And they can't just do it. They can't do it. We have celebration. Okay, we had two cards of celebration. So let go. Yeah, let go of this old person and, you know, embrace new possibilities because there are more people coming into your life who are your potential love interests. Like one person. <laughs> okay, like say, say I'm definitely getting that a new person is coming into your life who's going to make you feel amazing about yourself, who's going to like accept you as you are. Like your true self who's not going to demand any changes. Like they're going to love you for who you are. Which is just amazing. That's beautiful. So yeah, basically you might meet this person at a party. Or you know, at a family gathering. Or you know, just like somewhere where there's like some sort of like, you know, event. At an event or something. Or you know, just, you know, a restaurant or cafe. Or you know, just something. I don't know, like, okay somewhere where there's a lot of crowd okay so yeah just celebrate your life let go you know and celebrate your single life you know do whatever you want basically that's like the message to love yourself take some time to yourself okay because you deserve it and always like keep yourselves first it's like you gave your, gave this person your heart and this person just like took it for granted and they, they never like you know they never had like the similar intentions like you had okay like of commitment they didn't want to get committed this person was definitely a playboy a playgirl and they are still a playboy a playgirl some of you guys for some of you guys this person definitely changed and they want to get back with you it's up to you if you want to get back with this person or not but i'm definitely seeing a new person coming into your life okay so keep that in mind okay <sighs> all right this was really intense if you ask me so yeah, well, I guess this is all that I have for you guys today. I hope it resonated. If it didn't resonate, you're free to check out the past in this reading or check out more videos on my channel. So, love you guys. I'll see you guys soon. Wait a second. This person misses you a lot too, alright? So, bye-bye, guys. Love you.